We have got a jam-packed Trips of the Thrift episode ahead today. A ton of great items found to be selling on eBay for a really high profit. Very excited for this one. Let's get into it. All right, we're gonna do something a little bit different today. I've just picked up these Asics Gel Cumulus 19s. They're worth about 60 bucks, and I'm gonna do it as a bit of a giveaway today. What you need to do is watch the entire video. Let me know in the comments below once you've finished how much you think I've spent. So I'll let you guys know next week exactly how much that was. And whoever is the closest, I'll go ahead and give away these Asics Gel Cumulus 19s. That should net you about 60 bucks when you go and sell it on eBay. So should be a fun episode, guys. Let's go see what I'm picking up. The first item of the day is this Carhartt sweater. It's a plain black, size medium, $20 price tag on this one. Look, I know it comps pretty well on eBay, but is $20 just a little bit too steep to be buying for a single item of clothing? Let me know. Jumped into the plush problems, and uh, look, this one here really did catch my eye. $4 price tag here. We've got Inside Out is the movie. Bing Bong is the character. This is why I get in here, guys, because there is some profit to be made. Pretty happy to go ahead and pick up this guy. Also found this board game as well. The price is right. This was a 2003 model. Um, really did catch my eye, actually, until I open it up. And that right there was giving me an absolute headache off the get-go. So I put that one back onto the shelf pretty quickly. The Shock Mansion, I've gone ahead and picked this jumper up as well. $10, a bit of a stab in the dark. Don't know what it will turn into, but I'm going to hope for $40. And then I also found these as well. $4, a bit of a staple item in my inventory list. A pair of Asics footy boots, so not too bad there. And then I found an Xbox game as well. Splinter Cell Chaos Theory turns into about $25. Not too bad of a result, but... This was the best result of op shop run number one. Have a look at this. We've got a Hardwood Classics Mitchell and Ness Derek Rose Chicago Bulls jersey. This is an absolute relic. Happy to pay the $30 here because I really truly do believe that I should be able to go and sell it for about $100. So there you go, guys. Not too bad, hey? First run of the day. We're off to a pretty good start. Um, the Instagram viewer poll question was around those Carhartt, or that Carhartt sweater. It was a size large. The brand's awesome. I know Carhartt sells really well. Um, tough to find over here in Australia as well, but you guys have unanimously said, Matt, put, the, put that back on the shelf. That is absolutely a terrible decision. 6% of you, I think it was, when I was in the store, um, told me to, uh, to put them back. So that's what I did um, because I listened to you guys and I value your opinion. Let's get into the second run, guys. I'll show you what I'm picking up in there. Well, the second one of the day was off to a really good start. I found these Keen Coven women's hiking shoes. Now, you can always rely on Keen whenever you find it. If it's in good condition, you'll go on to make some good money. I'm going to hope for about $80 there. I found the Asics Gel Kinsai 5. These are some men's running shoes. They go for fantastic money, but I rated them about a 7 out of 10. There are a couple of little marks on them. The soles did have some wear, but it wasn't only a $10 price point. So let me know your thoughts on if you would have gone ahead and picked those ones up if you were in the thrift yourself. Here's a little item that I really do think is going to become a little bit more popular as time goes on. The bucket hats are coming into fashion, guys. I found an Adidas one here for $5. Should be able to turn it into about $30. And then I dove into the jeans section as well here, and I found some Trueys. Some True Religions for $15, 38 waist. Everything was telling me these were going to be a really great buy until I turned it around, and then I saw a you-know-what stain on the back. So I had to leave them behind. Richmond Tigers AFL jersey to round it out. So, the Asics Gel Kinsai 5s, the men's running shoes, I've gone ahead and I've bought them, but 40% of you only said to do that. So, I'm really going against the majority, but I just know that there's a lot of collectors out there for that type of shoe, and uh, I'm an Asics addict myself, so I was never going to leave them behind for the $10, but interesting to get your thoughts. Hey, there was another item that I bought as well that I'm going to save for the end of the video, a really unique item that I would never normally purchase, but it is going to go on to make hundreds of dollars worth of profit, so stick around for that. Let's keep moving. I'm shot number three coming. Up. Well, would you look what we have here, guys? It's not every day that you see a complete collection of manga Japanese comic books, but that's exactly what I'm looking at here. We've got 25 volumes of the comic book series Initial D here, and there's some pretty crazy comps on eBay, anywhere between three to four hundred dollars for that set. And then I believe this is uh, King or Night King, I think it's called. And we've got 26 volumes of this one here as well. So I've got ahead and obviously I've bought them all here. And I really do think I'll be able to turn it into about 500. I've gone ahead and grabbed these as well. Unbelievable to see a pair of internationalists in the thrift in such good condition for just the $7 price point. I'm going to hope for about $70 on those. Dove into the menswear and had a bit of a look at the shoe section. And geez, it did come through for me. We've got the uh, Zoom Elite 8s here in the Nikes. And uh, again, you're looking at about 70 bucks for those as well. Uh, I found these, which I thought would, would have obviously been a really great buy, but there was no style code on the tongue. 
Therefore, I thought it might have been a fake and I actually left it back on the shelf at a $15 price point. Let me know if they look genuine to you. I found these as well. These are the Adidas ZX Flux and uh, only an $8 price point on these. Should be able to turn that into a pretty standard $50. We've got the Brooklyn Basketball Training Top and we've also got the LA Lakers Training Top here. A bit of NBA heaven. Always loving the NBA merchandise whenever I'm seeing it. The clothing section actually did really well, as did the accessories. Look at all of these hats. We've got Cleveland Cavaliers, we've got Bolarama Vans, uh, the Golden State Warriors, Brooklyn Nets. This was absolute heaven for me, all in like new condition. Literally never worn these hats. And I got them for a pretty decent price as well. So that Warriors basketball, completely genuine Adidas product. Um, so I was really happy to find all of these all in the one thrift store and I reckon I can get about $35 for each and every one. That Brooklyn Nets one should go for about $35 I would imagine. So look, there it is there. It, it was a pretty crazy run and I think there's going to be quite a few dollars made. Well, I think that's got to be a first for the channel guys. I, th I reckon there's about $1,000 worth of value out of that one op shop. Everything that you saw there, those manga books are going to sell for about $500. I won't tell you how much I spent because we're obviously playing a little bit of a game today, but that was just out of this world and so much fun to be sifting through those sorts of items because that's exactly what I look for when I'm in the thrift. So that was so much fun. Let's get into it, guys. Last op shop run of the day, though, is coming up, and I do have that really cool item to get back home and show you. So plenty more to come. Stick with us. Let's get back in there. All right, guys, let's finish the day nice and strong. I've dove into the shoe section. I found the Hoka One Ones for $15. These are arguably my favorite shoes to find in the thrift just for the resale value alone, although there was some really nasty heel burn there. So I have actually gone ahead and left these back on the shelf just due to the quality. As you'll see here, half price sale in the DVD. So there was a lot to cash in on. I've ended up picking up this Sex and the City DVD full collection here, this one, and I really like the way they laid out the discs. You got a nice little collector's gift set here that might be a good one come Christmas time. So happy to pick that one up. This one as well, we've got Peep Show. Now, this was series one to seven. I always get excited whenever I see complete series. You're looking at about $40 on that one. It was region two, but I'm still happy to pick it up. This one as well, this will be a nice little DVD bundle. I'm gonna aim for about $25 free postage on that one, and I'll probably get it. And what about this? To round out the day, we've got the completely genuine Adidas Australia one day cricket jersey. I should be able to get about 60 for that. If you've made it to this part of the video, I wanna say welcome. You're officially a part of the 30% Club. The guys that stick around to the very end of the video, I can't thank you guys enough and I really wanna reward you guys as well. So in doing that, I try to save some really cool items for the end. And the one that I've got for you today, I think I found it in the second op shop run of the day. It was this thing right here. It was brand new in box. It was a Canon WP-DC5 III. And what that means is basically a housing unit for a camera. So here it is right here. It's an unbelievable device and it is in brand new condition. There's still the plastic and everything like that. This thing is an unbelievable grab. So I found it in the op shop actually behind the counter as I was checking out and I saw this all boxed up. I saw the brand Canon and I thought I had to grab it. I've only paid the $10 for it and I had a look on eBay and there were two international sales anywhere between three to $400. You can buy this brand new for 400 bucks. So I think pre-owned, I should be able to get about 275 to 300 considering I've got the box with it. Not too bad off just a $10 purchase. So while there were so many great items bought today, those manga books that I've got here, I can't wait to do some research, but I really do think 500 bucks there. But I thought that was just a really great grab to hopefully make myself about $200. Um, I also wanted to remind you guys as well about the competition that we are running today in this video. I've let you know that the Canon waterproof case was 10 bucks. These are gonna go into about a $60 sale price if you can get your hands on them. All you need to do is like the video and comment below what do you think was the overall spend in today's video? I'm gonna add it all up and I'm gonna bring it to you in next week's video and I'll pick whoever was closest to win the ASICs. A very simple game. You might have to go back through the video to have a bit of a look at the items that I bought again and maybe just add things up. If you get it close enough, you might be the winner. So let's see how we go with that one. That might be a fun way to do this video. But um, appreciate you being here, guys, my 30% clubbers. If you've stuck around to this point in time, I love you guys so much. Thank you for the support and I look forward to catching you in next week's episode. We'll see you soon.